레벨이 스스로 얼마나 아끼는지 오! 워터 프리크! 내가 딱 그걸 내가 얼마나 아끼는지 That's crazy dude! Uh, yeah, I wonder why. I wonder who this is geared for. Subscribe, please! Alright, so we got this here. This is the special broadcast for Brown Dust 2. Brown Dust 2 is still... Uh, the update is still live, right, with the collab. It's still happening until the end of the month, so we have less than a week to finish it. If you haven't done it yet, do get into it. It's really fun. It's the collab with Senran Kagura. Uh, it's pretty cool. Some of the characters are pretty good. So head over there if you haven't done it yet or if you haven't played the game. It's a good starting point. Now, they decide to drop a broadcast for the 500th day of the game being live, I do believe. There were apparently a lot of... Um, um, technical difficulties and whatnot. This is apparently where the live stream do begin. And then there is a lot of Q&A. We are not going to be watching the Q&A, even though I'm sure there's a lot of interesting stuff. I'm not going to be covering that. I want to cover the new stuff uh, and the announcement. So that's what we're going to be doing here. I'm very excited for this. I'm looking forward to see if they're going to be announcing new characters and new stuff to, to come in the game. Uh, so apparently there might be some sound issues, but uh, we'll live through it. Uh, because the light will be coming, come back soon, please wait. Okay. 네, 네, 네. 네, 어덜트 게임은 아닙니다. 네, 애니메이션 앤 게임 페스티벌. 네. Is there no subtitles? 네. 그러면은 for the live stream. 되게, uh, Sena? 어, 댓글 되게 많이 좋아 주셨고 여러 가지 뭐 이렇게. <웃음> okay, so the translation is on the top. Fair enough. 좋은 거 같은데요. Before we start the surprise, we have an exciting announcement. 그러면 오늘 좋은 right? 분위기로 또 it's becoming tradition to have a surprise every time, isn't it? I mean, I hope so. Uh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. So here we see a Halloween update, Character Pack 07 Contract Wars. So the character packs, you have essentially the story pack at the top. Then you have the character pack, which is based on specific characters. Then you have the event pack. And uh, we also seem to have some new OL costumes. What does OL mean here? OL? I don't know what OL costume wins at all. Uh, Tower Salvation Improvement, awesome. I barely play Tower Salvation. I really need to do that. Uh, World Buff Improvement, Coming Up Rerun Events, Future Update Direction, Survey Results, Live Q&A. All right. That's cool stuff. Lots of stuff coming up. I don't know what the uh, OL means here. All right, let's move a bit forward here. Uh, so we have a happy Halloween. We're getting some free loot here. We're getting a bit of rice. Rice is what you need to do some of daily grind. Um, 500 gem, which is nice. It's like a fifth of a pool, something like that. Uh, of a multi, a bit of coin, sure, why not? Clap, 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 clap. Uh, four biggest holidays of culture, of course, we have something to give. Ah! Uh, contract Wars. So that's the new character pack. Is that Saren? It, I think it's her. She's always crying, so that would make sense. Alright, so we're getting some free stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Translator is wrong. That's fine. Uh, the first update we have for you is news about a new character pack, Junhei. Please tell us the details. Alright, tell us the details, Junhei. It feels like ages, but new character pack will be updated. Hell yeah! Okay. The seventh character pack is Contract Wars, which goes over the stories of company staff. <laughs> Sounds like real life. It is Sarah. Sarah on the screen could see her, indeed. Uh, explain more about the story in the background of the character pack. Do tell us. You may not feel familiar with the title Contract Wars, we'll likely explain before we begin, okay? All contract and card seated the background of the Contract Wars are formed through matches called Contract Wars, okay? 
Ne. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay, so I guess those are the new costumes. Um, okay. See, I was about to say, so we're getting some specific costume uh, for a lot of the other characters, right? So that's cool. Um, Hot Wars, indeed. So it seems like, essentially, they have to fight to actually manage contracts in this city. <laughs> that's crazy. So that's Sayer, obviously. I don't know who this is. The hair seems to be short and a bit blue. That's, that's crazy. Performing the contract with to help her companions. She is a bit timid and confident, but she will grow into a respectable office worker. Okay. Look forward to how cute and loadable she is. In the contract war, you'll be with four characters the new cell staff, Seer and Nebris. Oh, Nebris got me here. Nebris, I think she had. Uh, was it a first? No, I think it might have been a second. I don't remember. She she had um is she the one that had a uh, keeper of the labyrinth Nebris or was that another character? Uh, Luvencia uh, and Mikaela. Mikaela! Awesome. Mikaela only has one outfit right now. It's the summer Mikaela. Uh where I think she's the one doing all the summons, right? So now she's getting a second outfit, which is awesome. Oh, who's Luvencia? Let me see. Brown does two Luvencia. Oh, is she the big caster? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's yeah, see. <coughs> Alright, so Seer and Nebris, Levencia, Nebris. No, I said Nebris twice. Mikaela. Uh, concept of costume while discussing is office attire, of course. <laughs> Right. <laughs> even them, they're like, damn, it's getting hot around here, huh? Uh, Alright, right, they're kind of talking about the characters. Because of all the lag, it's a bit annoying to, to, to watch through. They're talking about the composition of the image and uh, the thought behind like making it like that. They're talking about the size of the characters and all of that. Like, uh, we can see what's going on here. I'm probably not gonna like... There we go. So now we see the other two characters. Uh, which, yeah, okay. Here you can, re you, can, you can see who they are. This is Mikaela. This is Nebris with the long hair. It's recognizable. Um, so here that means that this is Luvencia. <laughs> All right, looking good. Is that a bazooka? I think it might be. She wants to show off how superior she is, blah, blah, blah. We saw that in the summer event. Sassy personality on Nebris, blah, blah, blah. All right, the Carto War Z. What's going on here? All right, so this is uh, this shows like the, the picture of the new season events there are zombies because of course they are oh you can see all four characters here oh Luvenzia as a, as a freaking bag that's cool that's cool as freak that's Luvenzia she looks cool as freak she reminds me of a character in uh, Nikkei she reminds me of Crow actually like a mix between Crow and Sugar the back is cute it is cute does she, does Luvenzia not currently have a character? Have, have a costume? That might be her first costume. I think that's the first costume. New office look. Ah, oh, OL was office look. Makes sense. Does make sense. Office look, office I think it is her first costume. Uh, the translation is a bit silly. Oh, there we go. You can see the full art. Oh, she has little drones. The umbrella is a god. I love it. Umbrella gun is fucking peak fiction, dude. <laughs> Let's go. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. 네, 어, 설명드리겠습니다.
Peak, peak umbrella, peak. Uh, I think Sarah in the game is like a tank. I think she's like a support tankish character. So I wonder what kind of uh, ability she's gonna have here. She's hugging a special umbrella gun to protect herself against bullets. Yeah, it's like the umbrella, you can open it up, and it's like both a shield and a gun. She can grant buff to her allies when she's hit by the enemy. There's go. Yes, it, should. It, it fits with the rest of her kit. So she's like a tank that buffs her ally when she gets hit. That's awesome. Charming. <laughs> Talking about her legs. <laughs> oh, she decorated her employee ID card. Yeah, it's so adorable. Look at it. Oh, and she has a, a main weapon here as a key keychain or something decoration that she has on the back. That's adorable. I really like her design. She's so cute. Alright, she looks great. Wait, what? The basic costume says she's 133 years old and the idol Sarah is 13. I also wonder how old Sarah is as an employee. 16? <laughs> Okay! <laughs> yes, yeah, guys, stop talking about her legs then. <laughs> Fucking creep. <laughs> Luvencia! Man, she looks good. Dude, okay, I'm not crazy here. I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm gonna point it out. I'm gonna point it out. That's sugar. That's sugar. Right there, okay. That's sugar. That's Luvencia. That sugar, that's Lovencia. That sugar, that's Lovencia. Yeah, they're the same photo. <laughs> they're the same photo. I will identify as a motorbike. Of course you will. It's the same photo. It's the same photo. Hey, rehydrated. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. As Patricia from Brave Nine, she's always in the mount. Oh, Luvencia was a, a Brave Nine character? Let me see. Brave Nine, Luvencia. I mean. Oh, wait! Is she Luvencia? Is that Luvencia? No way. I, I'm getting so confused. Let me see. Yeah, I saw the, the, the picture you sent me. No, that's Levia. Levia is not Luvencia, right? I'm getting confused with the character they show. No, no, those are different characters. Okay. She will be a Darknik physical damage dealer. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I saw Sana. Zero Circle has a fitting skill concept. Yeah, it's cool. I like her. I really like her design. The motorcycle is really pog. We finally have Lovencia. Indeed. Some of you may have expected she's one of the best made characters in my opinion. Yeah, bet. I will size her cooked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really cook with them size. <laughs> I never heard stuff while I see some managers had designed the weapons with a shotgun. That rule is massive. Yeah, true. It's way bigger than the first, the, the formal one. I was going to make her stand, but Junhei said I must make her ride a motorcycle. Fair enough. I had a hard time designing the motorbike. They're just yapping about um, the process they went through to make her. I can feel a bossy superior from her, okay? They keep talking about the side, it's crazy! Next up, okay, what's next? What's next? Which is more difficult for you, stalking or sweat? Je Jesus Christ, can we move on? <laughs> Those devs need to chill! <laughs> She's a magic damage chiller. Wait, uh, yeah, okay, let me see. So she does have rocket launcher. She's a magic damage chiller with powerful firepower to match the penalty. As a relaxed head of department could tolerate many. Wait, is Mikhaila the one that hurts herself? Or is she the one that summons creatures? Because there was a character that was like really not really playable. 
Oh, Morphia is the summoner. Morphia is the good one. Mikala was the very underwhelming one. The problem, I think, uh, is that she she hurts herself. She consumes eighty percent of her current HP to increase her magic attack. And the thing is, like right now, there's not really any purpose to having a character that's risky like that. Even if your damage is good, it's just better, right? So she was kind of like not really playable, I guess, or not worth it. So here it's nice to that she gets another costume. Hopefully she gets some good ability. Uh, so Luvencia is more of a, the tough older sister. And uh, she's more of the relaxed and uh, wisdom kind of character. So she's a magic dealer with powerful power power damage the penalty of, I suppose, like losing HP from her other outfit. The translation is all over the place. What a typical, she's holding bazooka, she deals with tough firepower like she does in her swimming suit. Fair enough. I knew it, Mikhail looks good with big weapon, of course. <laughs> Those devs, though! You guys need to kill! Uh, I hope we get. I don't know if they're gonna show like. Oh, Nebris looks great! Look at her! Mischievous, wicked smile. Yay! Interesting. I did get a uh, Keeper of the Labyrinth, Nebris. I haven't really used her so far. I don't actually like grind the game like crazy. I mostly do my dailies every day and kind of like. Every now and then I do a bit more of the story and stuff. Alright. Uh, like your other costume, Nibris is a wind damage dealer. Yep. Oh, here! Look at that! There's like some little cat ear on her ID card. That's cute. Which is actually will more powerful firepower in certain conditions. Okay. <laughs> like a cute. <laughs> Cat's bag. Yeah, I can see that with uh, uh, Lubensia. More comfortable than suit. Overdid myself in the touch motion. I bet you did. Oh, what the freak! That's crazy, dude! Uh, yeah, I wonder why. I wonder who this is geared for. Alright, Tower of Salvation Improvement. That, that, that is crazy. Like, I, I, I don't have that kink. I don't really get it. But, I mean, I know some people do and really like it, and good for them. Um, drawing toes nicely is tough, so I also put a lot of effort into it. I, I bet you did. Okay, so we're getting some new artifact combinations. We're getting some new artifact codex, new artifacts. And we're getting an official season for the tower as well. Okay. The first question is regarding Yumi. Okay. Artifacts codex, you can check. Uh, new artifact will be added, obviously. Uh, with the above improvement, then change the official season. Okay. Alright, good stuff. Alright, what else are we getting here? We ask for your understanding. Okay. Uh, world buff improvement, be small. Talk about the world buff, please explain. Okay. Uh, the usual world buff were decided uh, by considering various aspects like the pickup time and properties of Finn Hunters. It was difficult to respond flexibly to various situations like updating content. According to season or postponing the schedule, uh, it made it hard for our players to prepare and match the property like magic crystals. Okay. Um, to improve this potentially turn off the world buff feature. Okay. But we consider that it may be difficult to get higher points at the evil castle. So we'll be maintaining the world buff at the evil castle. The evil castle buff boosts damage for all properties without any rotation. Okay, that's good. Uh, future reprint events. So I assume this is a rerun for those events. So we get a rerun of the summer event that just happened. Uh, the marry me event, I didn't get to play this one. And we'll also be getting the fireworks memories that I didn't play this one either. I wasn't playing the game back then. So we are getting those rerun events in the future, which is great for those who miss them, like me. Uh, I did play the, the summer event though, that was the most recent one. Uh, Rafiti in the world of fairy tales. Okay, we'll be able to pick her up, that's great. Uh, we'll get to see Rue as well. 
1.5 anniversary update. Um, you'll be able to get Masquerade Celia costume, which is good. And then we have some future update direction. Do tell. There's some sound issues. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, okay, so we'll be getting... Oh, sh crap. Look at that. A direction of a layer. We've been getting a lot of feedback about where to take future updates. Uh, so I think... I think this is a recap of what happened. I don't think this is what's going to happen. Yeah, this is what, what was released so far. So we got like six story pack, four character pack, four event pack, 13 story event with Windy Cat and Carter War Z being the most recent ones. Uh, Finn Hunter last night, our salvation guild raid for in terms of content. And we got some new growth element with a potential and the engraving awakening system, which is great. <laughs> All right, let's see what they say for the rest. Uh, they're just recapping everything that happened. So we'll be, we got the guild raid, uh, the new field hunter, new tower salvation season, a river and fin hunter with different properties. That's good times. Uh, we got the pack here, the season event, which will be the card of War Z. Uh, we get a mini game, we get characters. Okay. That's good stuff. The live broadcast will begin shortly, but... Uh, so they want to provide high quality content that's optional yet entertaining. Sounds good. So they don't want to add too many demanding content, essentially. And they also want... Um, a new growth feature for now. So they're talking about some of the, the surveys, which, I mean, I, I don't really care about what people think. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sorry I'm mean. So here, yeah, they're just yapping. Let's see, what's the Yumi question? Because you're talking about that like uh, it's a big thing. So what are they saying? 115, 35? Okay. The Yumi panties issue? What, what does that even mean? The initial draft not only for Yumi, but also for the skill consists of the costume wear of somewhat higher exposure. Yeah? So? It's true that during coordination with the IP holder, we increased the coverage very slightly. Okay, so. However, I'm also a bit disappointed that we did not attempt to slightly reduce the coverage either through detailed coordination. But the quality of the depiction seems somewhat lacking. It's not that our sense of the picture has changed at all, and we'll make sure to focus more on the level of exposure and quality. Okay. Okay, I don't care. I, yeah, that's uh, whatever. I, I didn't even know there was a problem or, or whatnot, so yeah, I don't care. Anyway, alright, overall good stuff. It's too bad that the, the stream quality is a bit all over the place and the translation is not so great. Uh, but um, we are we, we got a lot of very nice preview for coming character that looks very very cool. Um, those people that really really like feet, you'll be served with this one. And uh, Luvenzia's uh, design, Luvenzia's design look absolutely fantastic. If um, it stopped buffering for a second, there she is. She was great. So overall, great live stream. Very happy. Too bad for all issues. Hopefully this will be fixed for next time. And yeah, there's a whole Q&A at the end here. If you want to check it out, do so on your end. I'm not going to go over all of these because that might take too long. And um, the quality of it is a bit uh, underwhelming because of like the sound issues and the lag and all of that. So yeah, but uh, pretty happy. Looking forward to it. I'll keep you updated when we get any more news on character kits and all of that. I'll do some videos specifically for all of those. And I'll see you later. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like, subscribe, all the good, good. I'll see you next time. Cheers!